Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica Spector and now we are finally getting to the long-awaited how to quantum jump video tutorial experience video that I know everyone on TikTok has been dying to hear about. I'm so happy to be able to answer those questions for you so we can all, so it, it, the weight gets lifted off of me a little bit, honestly. So you guys can communicate and share your experiences in the comments below. I'm actually really curious to hear um, everyone else's experiences and what did and did not work for them and kind of create like a forum. Okay, my experience that made me react like this, which was dramatic, but at the moment I was extremely happy and I was in shock. So, <laughs> and I took that video as soon as like I realized that I did it. That was like my live reaction. The reason why it took so long for me to do this video is because like I didn't really want to talk about it in depth until I knew that it worked. For and I can say that it works. And I can say that there's also some things about it that weren't as planned that you should be aware of. When you quantum jump, if you've ever tried manifesting before, let me just explain it this way. If you ever tried manifesting before, if you've ever tried doing a spell, sometime it goes perfectly. And then other times it's like it ricochets off the wall a little bit. And then other times it ricochets in your face. So it's like that. But it's like, you have to be extremely precise and careful. One tip that I would give you, get really clear on what you don't want in your life anymore and really clear on what you do want. Extremely detailed, extremely. I would even, if you don't want any random outliers to occur, hey, I only want these things to change. I want to go to a reality where only these things are different because random stuff can happen. And it's almost like sometimes it feels like the Berenstain Bears like butterfly effect. I wonder. Quantum jumping is great to do if you are really looking to turn over a new leaf. It's like manifestations on steroids. You have to stay in that vibration to maintain it. It's not like you just jump into a new universe and you can slip back into your old habits, right? So just because you changed realities doesn't mean that you changed. And you also have to be careful about Another thing that could happen once you do it successfully is that, you know, things will strangely just always work out for you. You'll see a bunch of angel numbers everywhere. I've honestly been seeing for the past like two weeks and you know, I don't even want to be categorized as one of the people who are like angel numbers because I don't really use that stuff all the time, but it's just been really crazy how often I keep seeing 444-333-222-111 and it'll be like in order and I'm like okay that's really weird that's really weird just like synchronicities after synchronicities and even people on some of my videos were commenting about seeing like angel numbers and stuff I'm like I don't know bro the angels are on my ass whatever that means like <laughs> The angels are here, or something's here, like, I don't know, anyways, whatever that means. So there's that. How did I do it? I was at a really breaking point, you know, I was like, I don't want to live this reality anymore. And I'm not even saying it, like, on some, like, type behavior, but I'm just saying, like, I was, like, so sick of it. I was like, I'm done, like, this is, I can't. I'm not living like this anymore. I can't do it. I'm going insane. And I was in my bed, made the conscious decision. I'm like, no, I'm not accepting this. It got to the point where I felt like I was in purgatory. For legitimately three years, I could do not purgatory because it was a cycle, same things. Over and over and again, you can never get out. And I was like, who locked me in here? There's no way that this is my life. There's no way that this is supposed to be my life. Who cursed me? Like I, and I still think I'm cursed. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, who hates me? Probably somebody, I don't know, somebody. And people can curse you all the time without even really meaning to with the evil eye. So that leads me on to my next thing, which holds true for everything within 
the wizarding world of Harry Potter. I'm joking. So, <laughs> stop telling people what you're doing. If you're like, oh, I'm trying to do this, even if you're not into this, you know, mystical practice, stop telling people. Stop saying, oh, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that. Because let's... Some people didn't like the quantum physics association that I made with it, but literally some of the people are going to hate me for saying this, but quantum physics is literally girl math. It's magic for girls. It's like manifestation, but for boys. Um, it's logicalized manifestation and law of attraction, mathematicalized. And don't quote me, but you can look it up. It's like this experiment of like an atom and they would watch it. And whenever they watched it, it would go one way. But when it wasn't observed, it would go a different way. And it's like, wherever you thought that it would go, it would go. So where other people like, like atoms change depending on if they're being observed. So it's kind of like, okay, you guys, this is what I'm talking about, literally. The very act of watching affects reality. And that's science. You can't argue with it. It's science. You manifest your reality by what you focus on literally because the atoms are like, oh, well, that's what they think is supposed to happen. So I'm going to make it happen. But then you think about it when it comes to manifestation or any sort of intention that you put out in the world. If you're trying to make something happen and you tell someone, hey, I'm trying to do this. And they're like, oh, they'll never do it. You just made it that much harder on yourself. They might infiltrate what you just did have you ever had a manifestation come true and then you tell someone about it and then it all falls down have you ever told someone for instance like oh i got a job and then like the next day you get fired that's what i'm saying that's literally what i'm saying so sometimes it's like like my blessings never get taken away from me if i shut up so that's what i'm telling you to do is don't be out here like hey guys you know what i'm saying so shh okay it can't hurt it literally cannot hurt like even if you think i'm lying like it can't hurt to not tell someone okay unless they're gonna help you which most people won't but that's just my experience um so i just really thought of it in more of a mathematical way i did close my eyes and i was like and this is gonna sound so corny but i actually was trying to manipulate the matter around me like in a mathematical nerd way in a mathematical Marvel nerd way, I was, and then I was just imagining, and, but the thing is, is like, I believed it to be true, like 100%, like I wasn't doubting, like, oh, I don't know really, like, no, I was like so done with my life that I was like, no, this isn't real, this is fake, this is real. And I think that is what really allowed it to happen, and especially so quickly, is that I was like, positive you know definite about it um you know you can quantum jump and not get what you want as well because i tried doing it again afterwards and it did not work as well as the first time so i'm gonna go look up some more um quantum theory stuff so I can explain it better to you. And plus my phone can only hold about like, I think 20 minutes or like video data at a time. So I have to upload this to my computer. So it could either be today in my room or later, but this is gonna be a long video because I just wanna be done, <laughs> one and done. And that's why I think it's so important to be absolutely certain, like I said earlier on what you want, because I don't know about you guys, but I love uh, making vision boards and law of attraction. I've been doing vision boards since I was at least 17 years old, at least. And um, whenever no one sees my vision board, like I don't show anyone, the majority of the stuff gets checked off. It's never been 100%, but it'll be like more so like 80, 90. But if someone sees it, not a single thing will manifest. Like if I get something, it will be because I bought it. Like I made it happen. I don't show anyone my vision boards anymore. Or when your friends are like, oh, let's make vision sports together. No, that is a solo secret activity. 
Anyways, let me get comfortable with you guys, like you're my friend in my room. Um, so I'm just gonna go into Jessica theory now. I'm not gonna try and reference any mathematical experiments unless I can think of it because I don't wanna say the wrong thing. So I'm just gonna say what I believe. You don't have to believe what I say. So I believe that we're all connected and that everything is everything and everything's nothing. You know, energy cannot be created or destroyed. So, you know, even when you die, you're not dead. Your energy, your force continues on eternally. You're immortal. And it literally takes like days to transfer like a nine minute video from my phone to my computer. So I'm recording on my, my Apple Mac computer think about it is like this and I reference some of these things in my uh, thriller collection which is fictional but you know it still has some of those aspects and stuff that I believe in when I did this. In short, your energy, you are not you. The way that you look is not you. I'm like a chameleon and this isn't even quantum jumping. You know how many times I've like drastically changed my appearance? Like I don't even look like the same person from a year ago. Like, no one ever thinks that I'm me. It's just... The way that you feel the world, like, if you want to make it more understandable, start by breaking down how you perceive the world now. You smell it, you hear it, you feel it. You see it. Think about how other animals experience the world. Some of them have sonography. Isn't it the platypus that has some weird stuff? Some of them can see infrared. There's colors and the spectrum that we can't even see. So just keep all of that in mind. Like there's so many different ways to perceive the universe around you that we don't have. You know what I'm saying? And how I like to think about it is we're like a blind rat. We're just coming up with these things to kind of like feel the world around us and survive, but it's not what the world actually is. So deconstruct what you think the world is because you're wrong. I mean, you're not wrong, but like, you're not right. We cannot conceptualize what the world actually looks like especially since there's supposed to be um, other dimensions. I wouldn't be able to explain what that looks like to you. Step one, break down what you know. Step two, be okay with not knowing everything. Everything's energy, math, vibrations. That's why they say, oh, you have to get onto a different vibration. I think it's also important that when you do quantum jump that you like I said earlier, stay in that mindset, stay in that vibration, stay in that way of thinking, don't revert, don't manifest your old life back. So you have to be really sure that you want this. You also have to know that whenever you quantum jump, you take a risk. Some things are going to change and both times that I've done it, like not good stuff has happened to like other people. Like I didn't do anything, but like it happened. Maybe it's not my fault, but I feel like it's my fault. I started off what you need to do to prevent yourself from going back to your original reality because it doesn't matter if you spend and waste all this time jumping and then you just go right back. So that's why that was lesson number one. Lesson number two is deconstruction of uh, your view of reality. That's not meant to send you in a spiral, it's just what it is. And these two keys will help you in the process, okay? With this in mind, quantum mechanics, quantum physics, quantum theory, um, if you don't know anything about that, I highly recommend that you look more into it. I'm gonna let future Jessica provide a bunch of links in the description of this video for you to look at and do your own research, and you can go ahead and look at different declassified CIA documents. I really, really like talking about that type of stuff. It's like super exciting. Some people just don't get it. And I'm really grateful actually that that video popped off 
because the amount of people that followed me from it, it's like, okay, like, here's my people. <laughs> we all are on the same thing. We're all like-minded, which is really cool. So I'm just gonna get into it. And if you guys want me to, I can make another video going more into dissecting those articles that I'm gonna provide for you. Good old rant style, but long form. Um, is really simple. Like if you've ever done any sort of meditation, third eye, like just, I was laying down and I even just looked it up now to see like what other people's experiences were and it seemed to be kind of similar in the way that they just believe that they are that person who has that because there is a reality of you who has what you want there's infinite possibilities and that's how you just need to see it you literally just and how I saw it was like I was swapping I was like mm, sorry bitch like this is your life now <coughs> like <coughs> you know what I'm saying like but also was using channeling energy out of my third eye and like imagining like me moving through energy fields, time and space <sighs> to be in that reality that I wanted to be in. You can look at it that way too if it's easier, just like that you're swapping or that you're going laterally. I'm really interested to hear your experiences and what happened for you all, how you do it. I heard someone on TikTok. I honestly just stopped looking at the comments. So if you're like, where did she go? Just, I cannot answer all the comments. Um, but I did see someone say that they like to um, heighten it with water, which makes sense because um, you can really use everything's connected like that's why when people when people they're like oh like this doesn't work that doesn't work everything's connected everything's energy why would it not and i'm not even you know what i'm i am not arguing everyone has a different name for it but no one's denying its existence still more there's still more i just have to do it another day when i'm alive because i'm dead right now